Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Raben Schild. I'm still on the way to the Mars-like planet, but I promised you to show you stuff that I find on the way. And I found this. It seems to be a bomber or something like that because it has these rocket launchers on the bottom with a camera and all that stuff. It... This... <sighs> I like this design. I kind of like this design. And I'm I'm tempted to take it with me just because my big problem would be that I don't know what to do with it. So maybe I will just mark it and then go on my way and don't know, think about it, how to retrieve that and if I really need that. So maybe we should do that, mark the position. I know that uh, a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some people said I can use the scan, the scan option now to basically bring in GPS points. So the, the scanner will automatically position a GPS point where it finds stuff. That's a neat idea, but I don't want to unnecessarily fill up my GPS coordinates and then I have to go back in there and clear them out and all that stuff. So that's why I'm not doing that. But here I will make a, an exemption and go and do some stuff. So we will name that derelict by the way one thing that happened and I'm not sure why is that it told me that this is a static large object maybe there is a, 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 another thing close by I will do another scan and see what could be close by it has some rockets on it and some uranium. I will just leave that in here for now, not turn that on. And then I will return to my last position from where I scanned out. Uh, it, I already left uh, a satellite there. And so just to do that. Here, stationary large. And this is a small ship and it's not stationary. So I'm I'm not sure what the scanner <laughs> what the scanner is pointing towards, but that's that's what it is. We will Yeah, we will see <laughs> what the what this is all about. I thought maybe I found a station. I was a bit hyped about that good let me go back to my last scanner position or my last uh, antenna position and then we will continue from there again i will only stop if i find something on the way right now i'm doing something that i should have done a long time ago and that is scout ahead because I have set up around, no, 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 I think five or so more satellites. And I'm not getting where I want to be. Now I'm scouting ahead with the rabbit to see how far it is still to the Mars-like planet. And we are already at around 300 kilometers, 280 something. You can see that down there, the numbers counting up. And my speed is 500 meters per second and I'm not getting closer to it. So there has to be decisions made about the, about the satellites. We need a solution for that relatively fast to, hmm, to get an idea how to get around the satellites. Um, I'm sure that I will not be able to set up the satellite network like I wanted it to set up because I had to I would have to make don't know now I would have to make around 
yeah, don't know. I'm coming close to six jumps. Um, no more. More jumps. Oh. <sighs> I'm close to seven jumps, I think. Seven, yeah. No, eight. <laughs> Can't do math right now. So, and I'm, you can see that I'm not getting, getting closer. So I think I will take a look at the deep space transceivers that I had once and maybe use them to establish a communication, to establish communication between the networks. And then maybe make one more jump, build a small station on a set a, on an asteroid, set up one of the deep space receivers or deep space communication arrays, if that's possible, and then see to make faster jumps towards the planet. So we can establish something similar in orbit around um, the Mars-like planet I think that's a better idea than to make coming close to nine jumps right now, not getting any closer. So I'm I'm counting with at least double the amount of jumps or something like that. That will not be possible. It's not material-wise we are okay. But I think the amount of stations, the amount of ships we would have in the game could be too crazy. So I will keep flying, establish a GPS point when I'm coming towards the Mars-like planet. And then we will see how the distance is between them. And I will take a look at the dishes then. I am back at the mobile home and you can see that I was at the Mars area. I called it Mars area because I was in between the moon and the Mars-like planet. The moon is a bit closer to us and I came back here to start yeah, the mission, <laughs> to start the mission to finally find a way to communicate with that area and then jump over there and yeah complete basically complete this hmm we will have to find an asteroid over there too so i will go and search there a bit for another asteroid so that we can have again a communications array that is fixed in space there too and this area has the same thing going on like the earth-like planet that there are no um no asteroids relatively close to it so we will fly there and then go a track a bit back when we have established a communications array here i brought back the deep space transmitter it is called it has a much greater range than all the other antennas problem is i need a lot of power for that so we will find an asteroid then fit it with um, yeah a normal reactor to yeah to power the base with that we will make another jump of 40 kilometers find an asteroid set up there let me do that i have decided to go for this beautiful piece of rock here it has some materials i might stock up a bit that's also a good thing that we can do here and i already built a few blocks down there so this will be the part where we built a small new array for yeah, the, the basically big uh, transceiver here. We will build this. We will build this. And then maybe when we are back in 
the main area we will basically go and uh, rearrange maybe build a dish there because the range of these transceivers is crazy high and so we could um, build another transceiver back at the main area at the earth-like planet and then connect them up directly and then don't know if we want to do that we did all the the work now with building satellites and all that stuff i i'm not sure if we want to take them away or if we keep them and just let it be for now we will see but maybe we build the dish to be sure that we get a connection back to mars so if something happens to the moving satellites in between then we don't lease uh, lease we don't lose complete uh, completely the connection i'm building another one of these satellites fly it back a bit because you can see i've lost connection to the other satellites because i'm 52 kilometers away i thought i fly a bit more towards mars and now i will establish the base here um, establish a GPS coordinate for this part so that we can connect it up in the end. I have to, I hope that the dish still works because it is a relatively old mod, but Darth Biomag is relatively good with updating his stuff, I hope. Good, let me work here and we will meet us back in a bit. You can see the massive size of this thing and I can't place it on the asteroid or on that thing. So I need to work my way around that. I got some merge blocks and now I'm trying to merge these two parts together with the rabbit as basically the, the cargo lift here to bring them together. I'm not sure if I need power for this. I will just try and if I need then I will just add some solar panels also to this so that they can successfully merge here. Down, 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 down. A bit to the front. This works. Amazing. Nice. Good. Now I can work around this have this thing going i hope i can bring it so that it uh, completely goes up i pointed it towards mars that should be good okay let me work here more i i don't know how much i more i can record here we will have to see i'm a bit out of the loop it took ages to get to Mars and to get back. So let me park the rabbit again. Uh, I will be back in a bit. Okay, this array is done. Uh, it is anchored. I have added some solar panels just to have some because I added a cargo, a cargo container here that is connected to the reactor inside. I also want to put some laser cannons on there just to have some because I have the feeling that I don't know if if something would attack these then that could mean trouble and so some <laughs> some laser cannons shouldn't be wrong. I have another thing I need to do. I need to get back into my area and for that I need a jump drive. We need to retrofit one of our ships and I think we will use the rabbit. I installed another mod and that's a small jump drive. I need ships that can get around and a small ship with the jump drive would be neat to get back and forth from yeah stations stations like this to um to 
somewhere back there you can see that some of the signals are blinking and I don't know why they do that and that's why we need to do some work there too so the episode will sadly end here I will retrofit the rabbit and uh, maybe rebuild it a bit I will not show that to you at the moment we will can we can later go over that here by the way laser cannons I really like these laser cannons because they they look so realistically kind of this this is how I would imagine uh, weaponized lasers in the relative near future that's a thing I will just leave them here um, let me change their settings but we will have to end the episode here I'm recording now for multiple hours today I, it's good that, that I had time for that but I will have to or I need the time to cut this upload it and then send it out to you you will hopefully understand my problems with not being able to get to Mars today and yeah, I need to... Whew, I need to... <laughs> By the way, the range of these laser cannons is absolutely freaking crazy. Good thing. The idle movement should be off because I, I, they don't need to move. Uh, meteors, yes. Moving targets, no. I want them to target missiles. And maybe don't attack neutrals. Uh, everything else can stay that way so these don't use up ammo they just need energy when firing and I should have enough energy for the array to run and the okay I have 360 megawatts the array needs 70 while moving 3 while being or keep to keep the connection the laser turrets need five megawatts it's way enough way enough and hopefully i have enough i have put thousand whoa why is the fuel time so low mm, okay they are charging the they're charging the batteries that's that's the thing that's happening right now let me take a look again the batteries they are let us just go to semi-auto and then th that should be better I have around a thousand units of why is there so oh oh see that <laughs> I only I only put 100 in there that's that's not right but here we will just store that in the in the cargo container and then that should be enough thousand units of uranium should bring us far I hope we will see that's also good to have a ship that can jump because then I can jump into the ship grab just some some uranium fill up these transceivers if I ever want to do more with that I can go and build this a bit higher up and then um, make a deep space connection or transceiver connection back to the main area and again I can with these antennas can make a direct connection from there to somewhere back there that should work too we will have to see this episode was a crazy thing for me because I'm again I'm recording for hours now you don't always see what I'm doing here and I I flew for hours I flew for I, I've built all that stuff and I've made multiple jumps and 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 and, and. so I hope you appreciate that okay people I will end it here now if you like the episode then please leave a like on it that that would help me out really 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 much I I want to bring stuff to more people out there 
and I would really appreciate a comment. If you have some ideas or something like that, then please leave that in the comments down below. And I hope to see you in the next week with more Space Engineers. See ya, guys.